Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you an alternative to App Tracker. Uh, that's the website that Installus used to work over. Uh, you know, if you installed the Installus app, you're actually going to App Tracker to download uh, the apps that you used to download back in the day. But they removed Installus and they removed App Tracker from the world, and uh, you know, we were left with no alternative. Uh, there was a couple of other alternatives, but they didn't work that great. But I have a service today that's going to work great for you to get cracked apps. So you could try them out. And if they work on your device, uh, you like the way they run, you like the app, and uh, you could pretty much delete it and then buy the legit app through the Apple App Store. And then you'll have the app and you'll already know that it works nicely on your device. So today I'm going to show you how to get cracked apps and how to sync them to iTunes and how to sync them to your device. I'm going to be using an iPad mini and uh, you'll see how great this service is and what a great way to get a replacement for the App Tracker app, uh, App Tracker website. So here we go. App Dora is the name of the uh, website. I'll put the link in the description. And basically, you're met with a nice page that looks like App Tracker. You got what's new, you got most popular and you got categories it doesn't work too good it's still under development um, requests are still under development and there's a forum so let's go back into what's new now I want to show you on my iTunes account that I don't have like let's try sling player sling player now I have the iPhone app uh, but I want the iPad app so we're gonna do that we're gonna go into search and pretty much we're just going to type in sling player and you will now see sling player for iPad so basically we're going to click it it's going to take us to a page that looks just like iTunes it'll show you that you could buy it in iTunes and you have download links down here so we'll go to send space and we'll check it out uh, it, you'll download now these sites they want you to go to uh, check out their advertisement and things like that. That's how they make money. So we're going to just skip the ad. And you're going to see here, click here to start your download. you got to look around the page. See, it, they try to trick you to get to click things. Uh, but, you know, once you get your way around, you'll know. Uh, and you see here now that Sling Player IPA is starting up. So what we have is Sling Player in our downloads. It's a... Uh, doesn't look like an IPA yet because uh, it's still downloading and once it's done downloading you'll get more of a uh, icon that looks like this now there's this is my mobile applications folder so when we're done I'm going to show you what to do uh, normally when you install an app through the App Store if you click music if you click iTunes and you click iTunes media and you click mobile applications that's basically where all the apps are put into from the app store or for when you sync your device it loads it into this page here mobile applications so once this downloads I will uh, now fast forward the video and you will see that it will download and then we'll take it from here and we'll drag it into our mobile applications folder we'll double click it and it will show up in iTunes here so let's now fast forward the video. Okay, so we're just about done downloading our Sling Player app uh, for the iPad. And once it's done, you're going to see this change over to a iPad app or IPA. So now we're going to take this and we're going to drag it into our mobile applications folder so we'll drag it right in and there it is now watch when I double click it you'll see up here that it's going to show up here sling player uh, for iPad so there we have it now I'm going to connect my iPad to our computer here And we're going to see that we can now install it. Now I have Sling Play already installed. I'll delete it. Okay. Now that we're 
deleting it. We don't have it on our device, okay? Nowhere on our device. So <clears throat> let's go back to here. And now let's sync it to our iTunes, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our library. So we're going to click here and we're going to go into our apps and we're going to see that you don't have sling player here so let's type in sling player sling player enter now you see that you have both sling players here um, let's uh, install it now we're going to install our sling player for iPad okay this is the one for mobile device um, for our uh, so we're going to install that now and then you look up here and you're going to see that it installs it's going to sync it of course because I didn't sync it I should have did that ahead of time but once it's done syncing you're going to see that the iPad is going to sync our sling player for iPad Oh, I'm sorry. I did the wrong one. I did the iPhone one. So let's do that. Sling player. I think it's this one here. So we'll install that in. And there it is. It's installing Sling Player to the iPad Mini. So there it goes. And if it's an invalid IPA, it will stop you in your tracks and say you can't install it. But it finished. And now we'll see on here that it's going to be installed. Uh, we just got a matter of finding it. There it is. Sling player. And then you could see on my iPad that it's installed. And then you click it open and it will work just fine. And we're going to hit accept. And then of course they're going to want us to put our uh, email. We're going to have to put our email address and all that stuff like that. So we're not going to download. This is a little bit of an older version than the one that's currently out. Uh, but it does work and uh, it works great so without any further explanation you could see that the website for app Dora works just fine just like it did for app tracker and we will have a way to get cracked apps and I showed you how to sync them to your iTunes the proper way and then if you're ever going to revamp your computer, you just save all these IPAs and then you open them all up at once and they all show up in your iTunes library. So that's pretty much the explanation for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next video. By the way, I have another app. Uh, this one is an iPhone and iPad app from Cydia that is a replacement as well for Installus. So make sure you subscribe, you like, and I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.